What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. This video is tips of the week. Let's start with tip number one. Always click on help and check for update to stay up to date. Uh, number two, we're gonna go to general settings and parts markup. So you, the, the, we have smart markup. Basically, it's really simple and easy to uh, to set where, where you can set your parts markup to default 55, 50, 55%, whatever percentage you want, and tires markup by percentage. But if you wanna use uh, matrix instead, click on matrix right here and then it's gonna take you to parts markup. And now, I mean, it's, it's the same thing, it's just more details. So if you wanna break it down uh, from zero to $1,000, you can. Uh, when it comes to tires matrix, well, that's where, where it's important because tires matrix, now you can set it uh, a dollar amount versus uh, percentage. So you can set it and you have again zero to four hundred fifty dollars on tires and up so so make sure you do that so once you do that you can always switch back if you don't like it you can you still use smart markup uh, i would definitely stick with smart markup uh, because it's a lot easier uh, to keep track of but some people like uh, matrix you can use matrix uh, tip number uh, three if you go to invoice settings and you can sit okay so let's talk about this real quick so if you're the default right here is part, but if you're a tire shop, you really don't want the default to be part. Otherwise, you're gonna have to switch all the time to tire and start typing. So we fix that problem by going to general settings right here, and then invoice settings, and then you can set it to tire or anything you want, and then exit. And now it's always the default is tire, so you don't have to switch back and forth. If you only do labor, then switch it to labor. All right, let me switch this back. Um, what are we number four? So number four is let me create an estimate real quick. So number four is so if we have like uh, we we know we can drag things like uh, up and down, which is cool. Um, but and we can even drag it to create a new job, which is cool. But the problem is if we have multiple jobs and let's just let's just put multiple jobs and just go back to struts and radiator and hub bearing. So when you have like a big estimate like this and, and you want to move jobs, not just move. Uh, if you want to move this all the way up top, that was a hassle. Now we have a and, uh, we have a solution for you. Just click on the job right there. And you're gonna have selection right here, top, or you can switch it, you can move it to any place. So if you wanna move the hub bearing uh, up top, just click move to top, and instantly it moves it to top, which is really cool. If I want, what it says, if I wanna move it to the bottom, switch it back, bottom. Or if I wanna, if I wanna move it to like in anywhere, like number four, and it shows you what it is, so. So those are very cool, um, and that's it for today, until next time, thanks for watching.